Hello, my name is Ethan Schulman. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing off Math Canvas. This is an in-browser graphing app that I have made. Uh, it's completely free. It has no ads. It runs all on your computer. You can go and save the generated graph as an image. You can change the options like the resolution. I'm going to show you how to use it and explain how it works a little bit. So the functions are coded in JavaScript here, and it also includes some options like the function coloring, the line width of it, and the grid color and background color. I'm gonna create a little example function here. So I'm gonna start by creating a new function. So for example, if we just returned X, it would just be a straight line. But I'm gonna, show you how you can use more than one function to create little patterns and things. So if we see here, this almost looks like a smile. So if I subtract from that, now it should move down. Now that almost looks like a mouth grinning. So now I'm gonna add another function as eyes. So for that, I need the eyes to loop down like that. So I'm going to use a sine wave. So now if we see those two waves going down here, if we clip them off there, it should look like eyeballs, right? And then I'm going to shift them up a bit so that they get clipped. <laughs> so now this looks like a droopy eyed smiley face. So this is just an example of some of the functions you can create. If you look down here at the extra documentation, you can also add custom uh, graphics. You can do basically anything that's possible in the JavaScript Canvas API, which is linked right here. You can draw lines, text, fill boxes. You can use this custom drawing right here to add tags, for example. You can label things, and not only can you save it and load it from files up here, but you can convert your code to a URL. It is a long URL, but if you share this to someone else, they can just go to it, and it will load up all of your code. So I hope this is useful to other people. I mostly just made this for myself for testing certain functions and being able to export visualizations and graphics of them. Thanks for watching. I'll have the link to this on my website in the description.